Hello and welcome ladies and gentlemen. Ugh. Hello and welcome ladies and gentlemen. My name's Hunter Nelson Collins and today we're gonna to be playing The Wolf Among Us, episode four, final chapter. So let's do this. I think there's technically six chapters in each of them. Cause you finish chapter five and then you finish the whole episode. I don't care who killed the prostitutes. If Crane was helping himself to the community coffers, it means his hand was in my pocket. Can you just let him go? I don't know what you heard, but it didn't happen like that. Are you denying the facts? Uh, she's denying me the chance to get a word in. Now, Miss White, I Sheriff did... Bigby has returned. Ah, oh, there's the old wrecking bowl himself. Bigby, where have you been? I'm not finished here, Miss White. Uh, you will have like to wait. wrecking bowl. <sighs> just one moment, please. Look what I found. Yeah. Seems your dog wants a biscuit. Screw you. You're Buffkin, the one who chopped get off, the chopped right off away. all your wife's With heads. pleasure, Miss White. I don't think it's a whole shard, though. Finally. I don't Things think it's Things are swinging is. back in the right direction. It's too Good small. Good work, Bigby. You've been gone all day. What did you uncover? I thought you were going to report back to me. I mean, it's fine. So what else did you find out? All of them are involved. I gotta say, this thing reaches a lot further than we thought. A crooked man has something on everybody. It wasn't just Beauty and the loan. Beast was working for him. His goon, the Jersey Devil, is putting the squeeze on all kinds of fables down at the Lucky Pawn. And he's got fables enslaved at the butcher shop, making black market magic. This is worse than we could have imagined. But that's over now, because we got the mirror. And once it's fixed, we got him. That's how Crane did it. That's how we're gonna do it. Excellent work. Really. Sheriff, I could use your assistance. Would you join me at the mirror? Yeah. There's another shard. Don't go or far, Or it doesn't Sheriff. fit at all. I'd like okay. to have a few words of my own with you. Unbelievable. We'll talk Pompous soon. Ass. Don't worry. We'll talk soon. You can count on it. I don't understand. This piece just doesn't want to join the rest. Do you have any idea why? Got me. Yeah, I have no idea. Well, where did you find it? What has it gone through since being separated from the rest? Shattering is a very traumatic experience, you know. So this process can be a little touchy. It helps that I have a good working relationship with the mirror. And I don't mind speaking in rhyme. I found it in Crane's coat. The last person I saw with Crane or his coat was that psycho Bloody Mary. Maybe she has some... Ah, yes. Miss White was asking about her. That explains it. You know who and the mirror have a very unhappy history with each other. <laughs> would you like it if yeah. she tried to use you as a doorway? <laughs> I think I already know the feeling. Well, I think I know how to proceed now. It will just take a little extra coaxing, that's all. Thank you for your help. It could be a while, Sheriff. I'll find you when it's ready. Oh, okay, so it he might not want to come out with you watching. Oh, <laughs> he doesn't like being spied on. <laughs> Yeah, the shard looks way too fixed? small, but it Did you ask is about the crooked man? Buffkin's still working on it. He said it might be a while. <laughs> if you're so self-reliant, what do you want from the business office so bad? What I want is my business. I, I can't take those two right now. <laughs> We're trying to catch a murderer, and they're... They're over there bickering about bureaucracy. We're at war. Don't they realize that? Do you need some help over there? Yeah, yes. thanks. Go talk to Toad. But just so you know, we can't pay him. He really needs to go to the farm, you know. So just break the news and be done with it, okay? I can pay for his glamour. I just stole some money from Crane. Not that he'll be needing Toad, it. Toad, come here. I see how it is. Passed off to an underling, eh? Why am I not surprised? Well, you did cause what damage brings me in here, so maybe it's for the best. Just need a little bit of dosh to cover it. I tried talking to her about it, but it's like chatting up a brick wall, it is. Now, I'm sure you've got your own agenda, Sheriff, but I've taken a real wallet because of you. I'm starting to think you don't take me seriously, Toad. How many times have I told you to get glamoured up? You know that if you're out of glamour, I gotta send you to the farm. Well, how about your friend the pig, hmm? Is he going to the farm too? 
Yeah? You thought we didn't know about him, huh? A worse kept secret in Fable Town. For a friend, the rules will bend. Colin stays out of sight. For Mondays, at least. Can you say the same? Uh, fine, fine, I get that. But might I propose a very simple solution? If you give me one more chance and hear me out, I'll see a way for me and me boy to stay. I'm not gonna ask for any more than I need. I just wanna stay. So what do you say? You just give me enough to cover me glamours and we'll call the rest a wash. So what else did you find out? Please, Sheriff. Don't take TJ from the only home he knows. His old glamour rule is oppressive. I've done nothing wrong but look different. You know it's not right, burdening the weakest of us like this. This world isn't kind to those of us who can't pass for human. Look, I'll try to get you that money and get you another chance, but you have to understand, that's not entirely up to me. Oh, thank you, sir. I knew I could count on you to make me whole again. We get it sorted and I'll be glamoured to the nines, I will. <laughs> Well, I'm glad I made his day. <laughs> Little beer. She's like, you what the talk? hell? Now's your chance. I've just made my donation funding this office, so direct your questions to Miss White. Oh, fine. Well, at least he's not trying to get rid of me. He's not. For now. Did you take care of Toad? I mean, I saw the way he left. I know it may not seem that important right now. But glamours are the law for a very good reason. Yes. You know that as well as anyone. Don't worry. I did the right thing. Are you sure? Because he left looking pretty happy. <sighs> <laughs> Fine. We'll deal with it later. Yeah. I know I should be asking how it got like this. But I just keep wondering why it happened to Faith and Lily. You've seen his world. Do you have any idea why he'd want them dead? I don't know if the Crooked Man killed them with his own hand, or if it was one of his goons, but someone did. What would make a person do that? Uh, if there's one thing I've figured out, it's that the Crooked Man is all about control. Yeah, I think it's so. What he does with the loans at the pawn shop, the magic he peddles, chains, ribbons. Maybe Faith and Lily weren't doing what they were told, or maybe they just tried to leave. Sheriff, Miss White, I believe the mirror is repaired. I have to say, I have been better. But thanks for putting me back together. I'm sorry, I just... I have to know. Mirror, mirror, we're glad you weren't slain. Now please show us that sick creep crane. Uh, Are you really sure you want to see him? Yeah, it might not be a good idea. You will get on that plane to Paris, and you will wait for the day the Crooked Man needs you. Until then, not a peep. Otherwise, oh. I get to deal with you my way. So please, please disobey. He's not Wait dead. a minute. Someone's watching. Oh no, she's gonna turn straight at us. Ah! Oh, that's creepy. What? Just happened we pointed you in the wrong direction and looked at bloody mary's reflection oh her that explains the sting i'd rather not have to feel the pain she brings so <laughs> let's not do that again okay yeah looks like we'll have to track him down later you're right we need to focus on the immediate threat and that's the crooked man bigby we don't have a lot of time are you having trouble with the rhyme, Sheriff? Okay, fine. Uh, mirror, mirror, no time to pout. So where does Crooked Man hang out? <laughs> that was kind of bad. I don't recognize the door, but that's the Crooked Man symbol on it. Hold on. It moved? Huh. The door, it moves. Yeah. Jersey mentioned that. Wait a minute. I know that door. That's Central Park. I don't know when it's gonna move again, but I'm gonna get there before it does. Bigby, wait. When you get the Crooked Man, make sure you bring him back alive. He has to stand trial. We can't just dispense street justice. I know that emotions can run high, 
and you have your reasons to handle this a certain way. But we have to make a commitment to working within the law. No guarantees. I can't make that promise. This could turn sour, just depending on how the wind blows. I have to be able to handle it how I see fit. If people are going to have faith in the Fable Town government again, we need to be fair. Show them that we're doing things the right way. I have enough to worry about here while I prepare the case against him. So I'm going to trust you to handle this properly. That is, if you think you're ready. Nobody will care if I kill the I got no man. other choice. But whatever. See, we'll see how it happens. So yeah, chapter five just ended, and this I think this counts as six, maybe. Not sure. Quickly, go through it. Isn't the crooked man like actually crooked? Tim, what the hell are you doing here? Good evening, Sheriff. I'm here to take you to the boss. Uh, Thanks, by the way, for leaving off Tiny. Tiny Tim. <laughs> you think I'd have that grown that centuries ago? I have to admit, when they asked me to watch the door, I wasn't sure what to expect when you came through that portal. I know you aren't here on a social call. Clearly. Hold on. You've just been waiting for me to show up? You knew I was coming? That's what they told me. I don't know. They said you made it pretty clear. No. I'm supposed to bring you right on in, so if you'll come this way. Look, this is the one thing I have to do. Please don't make this hard on me. <laughs> I don't want to get in trouble. Okay. Fine. Lead on. <laughs> I have one job. I must do it. Yeah, when we see the crooked man, is he gonna be all like bent? Thanks for understanding. This is all I'm here to do, and I don't want to mess it up. <laughs> I know I'm probably the last person you'd expect to be a guard, or an escort for that matter. Ooh. I was a little <laughs> surprised myself when they asked me to do it. I thought it was a joke, actually. I get it. You have a job to do. But you gotta ask yourself if you want to be involved with this guy. Too late. Whatever you may think of him, he doesn't treat me like some broken little kid. I think he gets what it's like. He gave me a job, and I'm lucky to have it. This is the only option I've got. Just keep that in mind, maybe? Because if you and the boss go up against each other, the rest of Fable Town is gonna get caught in the middle. And if you're here, it can't be good. Don't you realize you're not just minding the door? You work for that crooked bastard, your hands get dirty too. It's not so bad. Not so bad? Are you fucking blind, Tim? He's a murderer. So you're telling me you agree with everything Crane does? Nobody agrees with Crane. A lot of us depend on him. Some of us never get to the front of the line at the business office. But he's there. We need you, but we need him too. What we don't need is a war. Hey, Sheriff, hold up. I gotta go in with you. Fine. <laughs> Thanks. Yeah. The what crooked man's like, you Stop know. At me. Oh, yeah. Go ahead. You got a job to do. Oh, probably all crooked. <laughs> Sheriff Wolf, sir. Hi. Am I, uh... Am I gonna see, uh, the crooked man? Thank you, Tim. I know the sheriff isn't the accommodating sort. Oh, But you um, handled it. You did well. Hello. You can go now. Thank you, sir. Now you get a pay rise. You 
see, everyone in Fable Town has a role to fill. You just have to pay attention to what they need to help them find it. Hmm. Why don't you have a seat, Sheriff? We have a great deal to discuss. Oh, oh my. Alright, let's talk. Alright, you got me here. Let's talk. Ooh. So, what happens now? The credits happen. Oh yeah, and then the next time on The Wolf Among Us. I've heard stories about you. In the old days, <sighs> so how you creepy. picked off those men one by one. Oh, now they scream. The wolf is coming. And they would wait. Hiding anywhere they could squeeze their pathetic, shivering corpses. Some would just drop to their knees where they stood, close their eyes, and wait for death. And you'd give it to them. <laughs> I wish I could have seen it. <sighs> oh well. <clears throat> She's just pissing me off. Did you send Colin, Colin to the farm? You and 85% of, uh, 0.5% of players didn't. Uh, no, I didn't attempt to remove it. <laughs> just yank it. Just, oh, good, good, good night. Uh, yes. Okay, uh, we went to the cut above first. Uh, we helped out, or towed, or said we would. Um, oh, this one's interesting. How did you respond to the crooked man? Uh, you and 41.4% of players agreed to talk with him first. And everyone else would have been like, No, you're coming with me. But I thought that's the only logical thing to do, really, was to um just listen to him. Like, you know, what am I going to do in there? Like, handcuff him and then take him in? Like, really, what, what was I going to do? Uh, so, um, I'm pretty sure I have enough space on my hard drive, so, uh, I'm probably gonna record chapter 5 straight after this, and then I'll probably go on to some Walking Dead and then edit it all. So, uh, yeah, I hope you guys enjoyed it. Um, I really do wonder what's gonna happen in the next one. Uh, who knows? You know, we might end up killing the Crooked Man, we might end up taking him in... He might end up having different motives than what we thought. Some people might die. Um, nobody actually died in that one, surprisingly, so... Yeah, we'll, uh, we'll see what happens. So I still had that wad of cash from before, and then I got even more from Crane. I'm pretty sure both of them were from Crane, because I got the first one from his house. I think. I'm not sure, to be honest. Uh, so we're, we're a little bit loaded. Oh, so... Yeah, we'll, uh, we'll just see what happens. So I'll leave the credits rolling, but I'll say bye for now. Uh, and then after the outro, I'm going to go through the Book of Fables, or... I don't know. <laughs> Actually, no, I'll, I'll leave it for today. I might do it uh, later and go through it all in a separate episode or something. I don't know. Uh, but yeah, I hope you guys enjoyed so thank you guys for watching, thank you guys for supporting, and good day, good night, and farewell. That's why you're here. Like I squish my it cigarette would help and set shit everyone's goes down. nerves, I think. You know why I'm here. You killed those women. What women? Faith and Lily, the girls who worked at the pudding and pie. Did I know? I assume by your confidence in accusing me, you must have some proof of this, yes? <laughs>